jumps are gone. I mean, that's honestly me every time with sliders, but you know. <laughs> so, we're not talking about that. We're in winner's finals of WNF for Smash Ultimate. Now we're seeing Razo versus Elegant. I, these two have actually played a decent amount. I don't know the last time they played, though. I couldn't tell you honestly myself, uh, but Razo and Elegant, both good players in their own nature. Wow, I'm just surprised that they didn't catch him. Like, he was inside of that boulder gust. I also, I love that uh, down air that Razo did on shield and then immediately air dodged down because Elegant went for an immediate up smash. That was so smart. Yeah, because a, a, a lot of Daisy's he just would like to go for an extra hit off that and with how fast. Uh, oh, um, I didn't like that. I didn't like that. That's not okay. I had no up smash there. Oh. <laughs> how smart are you, Razo? He literally yeah. stopped his combo just because he knew of the uh, the iframe. That was really cool. Anyway, another spore in the middle. Of it. Like, do it again, please. Oh, get out of here. You have quick arm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now I'm done. I'm done uh, fangirling over that conversion. These conversions Raz has been doing. Zero, zero percent on Daisy, but we know how that's gonna go. Oh no! Thank God, Daisy. Oh, only going to getting a jab. Would have liked to see him charge an, uh, an F smash or something, but. It's, he has a Saturn again. Saturn, honestly, Saturn on ledge is so good because you can just throw it up, and then once it starts bouncing, it'll hit them, and then you can immediately just do any move you want because of uh, how meaty it'll be. Wait, have you, did you watch the Torque Master set? Nope. Raza was able to pull out every item in Peach and Daisy's arsenal on that set. Bro, I'm telling you, these Peach mains, they, if you're a dedicated Peach main, you have to put down throw you, up. You get rewarded really well. Uh-huh. So my favorite, my favorite, like, RNG moment of all time was a. Uh, I'll, I'll talk about it later. Get back to this match. For how for how smart Rods has been playing, Elegant is still playing really smart himself. He's still getting this damage and he's keeping it even. Yeah, he has some good counterplay going on with Rosal here, but he's got to watch smack. out when he throws out that green fireball. Oh no, that's it! No, oh, wow, he hand. has the vertical verticality right there. Yeah, he did the perfect. Uh, he did the perfect side B there, so he'd be able to snap. Pretty sure he knew it would snap. Oh, no. No. That's on a... Never mind, we're good. Never mind. That, that's on a percentage, too, huh? I I don't know. I thought it was, like, how fast you went, but maybe a percentage. I'm not sure. I've seen some, like, some weird fast green missiles just slide down the stage. I was like, I, I just see supposed to, like, get in the stage? I just see it consistently when you, like, misfire into the stage. I don't know. I'm that's fast, the only but... time I see it's consistent. Yeah. Still, Razo almost messed up that confirmed, but you know, we still got those. He started off with a Spore. Bro, I, Spore is so good in this game, just because like it always, it, it always does like 20% if you hit all of it, or like 26. And it has crazy knockback to, to me. Like, the knockback's weird on it too, because like some hits will do super big knockback, and then the rest, and like the final hit sometimes just doesn't send you far. It's a weird move. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. Speaking of weird moves, everything in Luigi's arsenal is weird. Yeah, he got some range that he shouldn't have, but gotta, gotta have something over your brother. Quick air jab. Oh, that golf club coming out, not gonna catch its mark there. Oh, I don't like that short hop air dodge. I don't think he meant for it to happen. Fortunately, the iframes on the cyclone are not enough to get past the peach crown. For Daisy Crown. Alright, very nice. Just shielding all of that and using the iframe, uh, the invincibility of his head on the up smash to catch him. I think Raza made it, might have tried to uh, back air there. Very nice. Catching his ankles with that down tilt there, but yep, don't hit me. I will do it. <laughs> I need a counter for that. I, I need a counter for, for how many cycles we've got in this set. Honestly, when you watching Elegant set, you need a you need a counter for how many cyclones he does. Then you need a counter for how many down throw up bees he does. Yeah. Back air. Oh, it's such an interesting matchup just because both these characters have their like staple. This is my 130 percent combo, but they don't actually work on each other. Like you see, Razo, he keeps a uh, messing he, up. He, he doesn't mess it up. I I think he's doing it right, but just Luigi has his invincible cyclone. And until the same point, Luigi has his like combo, but Peach is so, Peach Daisy is so floaty that up B doesn't actually hit. And, and the reverse is true for, for Luigi. Like, 
Luigi himself is a floating character, so a lot of things that Razo wants to go for possibly don't just don't work on him. Such an interesting matchup. I like how Razo is now starting to get try to predict these cyclones. You do notice that Elegant does it a lot. Yeah. He'll do that, Zare and like dash grab a lot. And once you can get around that, you can really just start punishing Luigi. So once you have a good idea of when he's going to do that, the counterplay starts going in. But then, you know, there's always the counterplay of, well, if Elegant realized that, he can just, you know, change his timing. And even then, we saw, we see Elegant doing different combos now because he realized that the up is not going to work. Okay, he gets punished quite a lot, especially when he goes for the up uh, finisher. And switching up into Karate Shop, he gets more percent and keeps himself safe. But he's got to... He's got to be careful when he's uh, coming down on top of Razo because one of his go-to moves, as we've been talking about, especially when he's coming down, is the Cyclone. And if Razo baits that out, he could literally just score it or I love the down smash. smash it. I think he, yeah, I think he was expecting an air dodge in or a side B, but that down smash definitely got him. You don't really see down smash from Peach a lot just because the knockback isn't that great, but hell, it worked there. Yeah, and it, it covers quite a bit of area, especially on ledge when you're trying to drift back to it. But very smart for Razo there. Hey, we're gonna go back to Battlefield. Razo up. Oh my god. Razo has actually kind of been one step ahead of Elegant this whole time. He's like, all right, I know this is gonna happen. Here's my counterplay. This is gonna happen, counterplay. But to Elegant's uh, respect, he's also been counter. He's been also coming up with a lot of counterplay too. He just needs to, he needs to close out these stocks a little faster. All right there, Elegant catching him on the aggressive uh, return with the up smash. And another up smash coming out, not gonna connect. Razo getting sucked back in by the green cyclone here. Oh my god! I love it. I love I love seeing Luigi just do up B from the other side and then you know just turn around and then he's like, alright, I got you man. But I predicted it, like, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do with this 90% on you though? Like Oh up B again. Give me a, give me a third. We had a third kill like that in this this game here. Now Razo uh, down a pretty uh, pretty penny here, but Daisy is that character who can bring it back. He just needs to get this first stock. Bounce pass actually not gonna fully connect. Wait a minute, Elegant is kind of going ham. I thought after the up tilt he was gonna go for an up beat because I honestly think uh, I honestly thought that was confirmed. Yeah, I I think it is a confirm if you get it like at the right percent. Don't I think he has a jump. That's not what you needed, though. You didn't, that's the one time you did not need a misfire. He needed a misfire like two green missiles ago. You want a misfire? You need a misfire. <laughs> <laughs> and now Raza may have a bre uh, fresh breath of life here. That's just really killing, too. Oh, I love that. I love that it added pressure with the up there. Just floating right there. Nah, we got reach there for the. That booty not gonna come for me today. Like, it out with the F smash. Elegant commanding victory here on game three. Gonna put a point on the board for himself. With the way he played that first set, you would have thought game one and two didn't happen. Yeah. Really, really dominating that, that specific game there. Game three. Amazing play from Elegant. Going back to Battlefield, I like it. Stop battle. No here. Game four, yeah, like I said, back on Battlefield. I think it was a good stage for both of these characters just because uh, you have you have these platforms to retreat from, and just Daisy doesn't Daisy doesn't mind the platform because it's just added pressure that she can just tack on. And right, right here, Razo's trying to use back air a little bit too much. Elegant's caught on to that. Also using down air to cross up that shield. And we have relatively safe down air can be at times. Uh, he's been getting away with it a little bit too much. But Elegant has adjusted. He's shown it in the last game. Yeah, down air is safe if you drift away. But if you down air on the shield and just wait there, before the second down air, if they down air again, you can just punish it before it comes out. With a relatively like fast aerial, it nair uh, turn around back air, almost killing. All right, that up smash oh, is barely connecting. Read the neutral get up, but not gonna happen. She had goes to the up smash. Oh, he tried the air back, uh, air dodge back to stage, but it was a little bit too low there. Yeah, look a little bit too early there. 
God, he threw the turnip up and immediately there. Get the hell away from me, he says. Alright, trying to get that karate chop, but he gets a green cycle. Not getting killed just yet. Doesn't have enough rage or percentage on Baza there. Oh, no tech there. Back air kind of hit him a little too fast. I can understand being caught off guard for that. See how Raz is now starting to like retreat and not go in at elegant because he realized that a lot of pressure is going on. He needs a misfire here. Oh, got his own misfire in the other direction though. Like what a yeah, what a snipe with the daisy bomber. Another there to break out of that combo there. Very smart for elegant. He actually netted himself a decent amount of percent for the combo that Peach tried to do. Throwing out the turn up again. Not gonna get a connection, but gets a full jab there. Oh my gosh, that, the grab just barely whipped me out, so not going to get the kill. I'd like to see... Actually, no, I think that was fast. Also, some up for Down throw, Cyclone, get him out of here. Wash him away. Now one stock apiece. Razo has an option to close this out and just get in the grand immediately. But Elgin does not look like he wants to lose here. That, game, that combo was so big. And he used his own turn up against him into the dash attack there. That was very big damage. Going to go with a back here after the down throw. Yeah, very smart stuff. Him. Wait a minute, he's not done with this damage. Get that ledge guard. He got Ooh, what a parry. How is your shield still there, if we're going to be honest? He ate like four down airs on that shield. Like, I, I don't know. She was kicking him. <laughs> I like the roll away. That was the only way that he can make sure he doesn't really get punished with anything that'll kill him. All right, Toad again. Not going to connect with the score. Yeah, I like the Toad to take care of the uh, the fireball. Because we saw in the first game that it two framed him and like, killed him so early. Cyclone, he gets the pan. I really thought Pan was gonna kill, but you know, we out here on the battlefield. That was a little bit of a punish, but unfortunately not gonna kill him just yet. Alright, very nice crown, but he's gonna get hit by Green Cyclone. We're still living though. Battlefield is doing favors for both characters. Oh my god, both using their kill move. Oh, oh my, my gosh, god. Immediately, immediately air dodging into it. Did not expect him to do it right there. For sure he's expecting a Razo to just start floating around and he's like, okay, I'm gonna throw out the fireball. I wanna put out this pressure so he can doesn't get back for free. Immediate yeah, immediate, immediate toad counter and just catch him off guard. I'm not gonna lie to you, I didn't see that coming either. Yeah, that was it was smart from both players too. Uh if that fireball had connected, I would have seen uh, I could see Elegant trying to go for a Nair in that situation because Nair has some crazy knockback to it. Uh especially